Hey, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm carving a simple pine tree out of white pine wood. This carving took me around 10 hours to complete. My focus was just trying to find some good methods and techniques on carving the pine tree that I could use in future carvings that are more complex. It's also really nice sometimes to be able to complete a carving in around 10 hours. Those 50 to 100 hour projects can be daunting at times, so quick carving was nice for a change. After carving away the background and tapering in towards the design, I started carving the gaps between the large pine boughs. I just didn't have the gouges in my collection to do this efficiently, so I used my Dremel to carve my stop cuts. With my number 5 25 millimeter gouge, I tapered the tree from center towards the background on both sides. I also tapered towards the top of the tree as well, back towards the background. This is a subtle difference, but it's important because it allows the light and shadows to display a realistic appearance when it's completed. A pine tree is naturally cone shaped, so it's important to try to replicate that the best that you can. I then started roughing in the pine boughs. I did my best to randomize the size and shape of each one. You don't want consistent or repeating patterns when carving natural things. The more random you can make it look the better. That's not an absolute rule, but I found it to be true more times than not. I made sure the pine boughs at the bottom were larger and gradually got smaller as I worked my way up the tree. I added some detail to each pine bough by making carving strokes towards the center of the tree. So the further away from center I am, the more slanted the stroke is. I did this using a number 8 10 millimeter gouge. This added some character and gave the boughs more depth. This also broke up each bough section even more, which again complemented the random look.
After the pine tree was shaped, I wanted to finish it off with a texture that was simple and wouldn't take a ton of time, but yet it would still look natural and somewhat realistic. I tried different things initially that I wasn't really happy with. Eventually I found a simple method that I liked. I've spoke of this technique before, but in this application I'm using a much larger gouge than usual, a number 8 10mm. I used the rocking technique here, which I was really happy with the way it turned out, and by using a larger gouge it helped create the look I was hoping for. The last thing to finish up was detailing the bark on the base of the pine tree. I carved in long sections with my V-gouge and created additional depth with my Dremel. I then used the rocking technique here as well, but I applied the technique across the grain, which looks quite different than going with the grain. After around 10 hours of carving, it was complete. I finished the carving off with a coat of Puritan Pine stain and multiple layers of satin polyurethane for protection. I definitely learned quite a bit in this carve and acquired some new techniques on tackling pine trees in the future. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.